sleep disorders are one of the commonest symptoms that nowadays our patients who suffer from acute infection are having these days. Oh, tossing and turning for hours, it can lead to depression, anxiety, and stress in relationships. It's one of the side effects sidelining people who've recovered from COVID. Research into why this happens is ongoing, but some doctors say there is relief. We've definitely seen an increase in anxiety, depression, and sleep disorders um, that have occurred in our general population. Dr. Priya Dougal from Johns Hopkins is leading two COVID-related projects, one of which aims to understand how and why we respond differently to COVID illness. We do know that the virus has neurocognitive effects and neurologic effects that may affect um, those particular outcomes. But there's still a lot researchers don't know about long COVID. Specialists are staffed at clinics across the country dedicated to investigating. Meantime, we put them on treatment to six, 12 weeks and invariably um, they get better. Dr. Bruce Patterson, former director of virology at Stanford University, thinks he has the answer. There is a solution. Patterson and his team at Incel DX say once you have COVID, your immune system is different and highly abnormal. Fragments of RNA and specific proteins from the virus linger in the body and blood vessels are inflamed. Once we relieve the inflammation, these symptoms go away. They do that with a combination of drugs to target the inflammation in the blood vessels and return the immune system to normal. And when we did that, these patients got significantly better. They're now working with 24,000 patients around the world and have plans to present data from clinical trials to the FDA to determine how to move forward. There is a light at the end of the tunnel and um, we can get them better. Dr. Patterson says they just launched their program in the UK to learn more. Please visit covidlonghaulers.com. If you're experiencing symptoms like severe anxiety or depression, do talk to your doctor and remind them that you've had COVID and that will help in that discussion as well.